Welcome back to my live Christmas drawing for August 31st, 2022. Um, starting two minutes late here. Sorry about that. Back to the hectic schedules. Um, the family probably is going to be walking in the door any moment now, so you might hear them in the background soon. Last week we were not here. Um, I had a chance to get away on vacation and I got to ride probably one of my new favorite rides and that's inspired today's artwork. So I'm going to start as usual with my pencil sketch. I just want to check, make sure everything's set up here properly since I haven't had the computer going in a week and it looks good. So with that said, we're going to start the drawing today and then I'll tell you a little bit about my new favorite ride. So this character is a beloved character. So I'm going to do a little bit something different with this character. I'm going to use it in its form, but then add a little Christmas element to it. So what I'm going to draw here is baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. And I got to ride the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride at Epcot in Disney World. Most likely now my new favorite ride at Disney World. I have to admit, the way you have to get onto it right now kind of sucks. You have to do like a boarding pass situation, but that's how they've done all their new rides. But I love it. It's a, a roller coaster. I don't want to spoil it. I went into it not knowing anything about it, which is the way I like to experience things like that. So I will not tell you anything. I'm sure you could Google it, look up videos. They're right now pretty good about keeping a lot of the videos secure. So you don't really see too much of it online. But I'm telling you, if you have a chance and the ability to get to Epcot in Disney World and ride that ride, I love it. If you like roller coasters and you like thrill rides, you're going to love it. And Guardians of the Galaxy. If you like Guardians of the Galaxy and you don't, you don't even need to like Guardians of the Galaxy to enjoy the ride. If you like good music and a thrill ride, go with it. The Guardians of the Galaxy ride at Epcot has inspired this drawing today of Baby Groot. Okay, baby Groot has some big black eyeballs here. Not too sure um, if they're black or not. They look black, so I'm going to just draw them as black eyeballs. So Guardians of the Galaxy, baby Groot, but slightly Christmas version of them. So what I'm going to do is add a few Christmassy elements here. I'm going to probably put a star in them. You know, since he is a tree, we'll have the star on the top and then a little extra thing I'm going to hang right here as an homage to another one of my favorite Christmas specials. I'm going to hang a red ornament there a la Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Although Groot, baby Groot here is a little, a little sturdier than a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, but so he has like some little moss and vines growing all over him. He's very wood grainy root type of material here. Uh, no nose on Groot from what I remember. But he'll have a nice highlight in his eye here as he's looking at that ornament in all of its glory. I'm going to do a couple of leaves coming off of him. And like I said, Christmas, Christmas, I don't know the word, Christmasing, Christmas, uh, Christmas, Christmatizing them. Here we go. I'll just make up my own words. We're going to have him holding a string of lights. And we might as well add another Christmas element to the pot that he's in, and we'll just do that candy cane stripe. So I think that is it for my pencil sketching. It's done quick. And we'll go to ink. Use my favorite outlining tool. I like this a lot for cartoons and like comic book type stuff, just because it gives you that nice 
flowy line. I enjoy it. So I think with the star, it's going to kind of be buried into his head. So a lot of this stuff is going to be in front of it, the parts of the tree here. And then the longer branch that we're going to hang the Charlie Brown ornament off of. We'll have that coming out here. But yeah, as I mentioned before, that that's what I enjoy doing when something new comes out. I try to go into it with as little knowledge possible. Hence me not knowing anything about the Guardian's ride. Let me erase right here because we're going to hang the hook off of that. So I have to redraw that. But yeah, going in there blind is the way to go if you could. I know a lot of people get antsy and they want to see what it's all about, but. And then we'll have the star up top here, kind of buried in this, into his head a little bit. And that'll be shining bright. So we'll add some more leaves over here. And what the heck, we'll add a couple of leaves here. Then I, I think what I'm going to do with the lights, I'm going to just do that as a separate layer on top of it, but in front of it, so I can concentrate on... Groots, roots, and hands right now. And then the other stuff will go over top of it. Make them kind of kind of twisted up here a little bit, like tree bark tree roots I don't know if you're not familiar with Groot the only thing that Groot says is I am Groot no matter what that's the only thing he knows how to say so if he gets asked any question the answer is always I am Groot I am Groot but in the first Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Groot is very big. Like he's a, he's really tall. I won't spoil a, an older movie here for you in case you've never seen it. But something happens to Groot. He does something, and then he comes back here as Baby Groot. And it's one of those things where like you really got to watch the ending credits on a movie, and you really get the full effect of baby Groot at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. But a great character, a one one line character that's all he says and he is voiced by um I think he's voiced by Vin Diesel, right? But yeah, imagine you get a job doing voiceover and that's all you say is I am Groot. Add a little bit of twistiness in in his rooted arms here. Then we'll add some little other little twigs and leaves coming off of them. Then we'll go to concentrate on the um, Christmas lights here. Actually, you know, I'll do the pot since that's down here. And like I said, I'm gonna I'll do this as a candy cane just to add another Christmassy element to it. All right, I think that's good. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to just do this as green. That way I can lay in the wire here for the Christmas lights. And it'll go right on top of everything. I don't think I'll just dangle them down there like that. 
Then we'll add some of the bases for the bulbs. They're just solid green. have one of my cats just joined me here. I don't know if you heard a meowing in the sidelines there. Then we'll have this end. We're going to just leave it like that. Then we're going to go and add the colors to the bulb since we're on this layer. Because I want this to be in front of everything. That way I could work behind it. So we're going to just add some... Regular light bulbs here. Nothing fancy, just because it's a quick cartoon drawing. I'll just try to hit up every color that I could think of. So when you think Christmas lights, what colors do you think of when you're doing a classic, classic Christmas? I guess it's a little different now than what it used to be. Because now with LED lights being everywhere, the colors are a lot different. This looks a little more pastel colors here, but I was a fan of the LED lights when they first came out, how like if you looked at them quickly, like if you moved your head across really quick, it looked like um, kind of like they were vibrating. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but I think that might have been the type that I got like around the bulbs itself, like the plastic that covered it was kind of like um textured i don't i don't really know the word to describe it and we'll put another bulb up here we're going to illuminate these bulbs a little bit later we'll have them bright but i think that's going to be our basic outline sketch and light bulbs i am going to add a little bit of light bulb um detailing with a, another outline so i'm going to switch that over to black and i'm going to do that real quick just because i i don't want to leave it looking like this. Oh, I forgot a light bulb right there. And yeah, let's do another it's Take me a little bit longer here to fill it in. Cuz I want to stay on the black cuz like I said, I want to I don't want to leave this looking kind of crappy like this. So we're going to just add little bit of design to it there same thing with this and I forgot another bulb look at that let's see if I only pay attention I'll have to go in and fill in this bulb That's easy enough to do, though. I don't want to spend too much time on the bulbs because that's not the focus of this piece. So I'm just going to work through this a little quick here. Again, I doesn't need to be perfect. I, I'm not picky about stuff being in the lines. And then I got to go back and fill in that last light bulb that I missed, which was right there. And let's do... Let's do, what color should we do here? Let's do this one, that green color. And then we'll outline it. Then we'll go back to working on the coloring for grouped. Perfect. So now we're going to eliminate the pencil layer. I don't need that. Then what I'm actually going to do is 
reference the outline layer here, add another layer for color, put it behind this reference layer, and now we'll start coloring our character. So we're going to start with the star, followed by the homage to Charlie Brown there with the red ornament ball hanging off the top. Then we're going to go to our browns, and we're going to start coloring in baby Groot here. And I'm wondering if I left open gaps. No, that worked out pretty good. So now we'll just fill in some spots here that we missed or that didn't auto fill in. Add a little bit more coloring and stuff for the leaves. And then some detailing. And then our baby Groot inspired. Charlie Brown tree will be complete. All right, that looks good. I'm going to make his inside of his mouth a little bit darker here. His eyes, like I said, I, I don't know if they're solid black. We're going to go with a, just a really dark brown. I don't know if I like the outline that I did there for the highlights. So what I think I'm going to do is go back to there. And I think I'm going to erase them. So that'll just erase my black outline because I think it's going to look better if I just do that with um, color. So let me refill these back in Then I'll hit those up with highlights. That's how I'm going to do that. So we'll go over to silverish tones here, fill in the top of this ornament, this part as well. Then we'll get to some green for his leaves. Give him a nice lighter color green. Since he is a baby and there are probably some new fresh leaves. Looks like I forgot to add a, the other part of that leaf there, but I'm going to leave it. It kind of looks kind of fun, so I'll leave it like that. Add a couple of those in there. Color this in, and we'll move on to the pot. Like I said, I'm going to do that candy cane striped. So we're going to go over to red, and we'll add our stripes here. And same thing with the inside. Maybe the inside will just be a diff uh, solid white. So we'll do this one. We're going to do this at a little bit of a different angle. That way it stands out from the top so inside of the pot's going to be white i do see that i missed a little part of them in here let me color color that then i think we're going to add another layer for our shadows and highlights so that's going to go right on top of the color layer but under the lights then we're going to shrink it down or the opacity and then bring the size of it up and then we're just going to work a little bit of shading on him with all these twists and and whatnot he's very rough shaped and i might add a little bit of moss to him because he does have that so let's add some to the pot here you'd obviously have some underneath that whole rim and then we'll add a little bit extra back there some on there. We'll add highlights to the pot as well. Some of these textures here are going to have shadows, highlights, moss, etc. Add a little bit under his eye. Even the leaves here. I have another cat that just joined me now. All right, light bulbs are on a different layer, so I can't do any shadowing on those. I'm not sure how loud the cat purring is, but I could hear it super loud to me. All right, we're going to go to the light bulb layer, add our shading on some of those. Not going to be too much because we are going to illuminate these with that 
illumination trick that I like to do. But we'll add a little bit of color variation there. And we're going to go back to the um, shadow layer before that we were using, and we're going to do some highlights now. So highlights on the eyes. So we'll start with a semi-translucent one, and we'll just bump that up a little bit. Maybe that's a little too much. We'll bump the size up and the opacity. That way it gives you a little bit of a variation there. And obviously the Christmas ornament is going to have a nice highlight up here. A star, a little bit of highlights. Uh, light bulbs again, different layer. Keep forgetting that. So we're just going to add them to that layer. And again, they'll be illuminated. So that looks good there. Now we're going to add another layer on top of everything, and that's where we're going to do the illuminated part. But what I think I'm going to do first is the background. Um, I don't want to leave it solid white just because then the illumination part doesn't look as good. So what I think I'm going to do is go back to my reference layer, and I'm going to just draw a ground back here. Actually, you know what? Let me add a new layer. I'm going to just put it behind everything. It'll be easier to do it that way. So that way I could draw and the only reason you see it on the pot is because I didn't actually fill those in white. So to do that, I'm going to have to go to, let's see, I think I'm going to have to add another layer behind this one. That's how it'll work. There we go. That's all I got to do there. So now I'm back on the background layer. I'm going to add a shadow underneath the pot. So we're going to drop the opacity again. I'm going to blur it. Maybe that's a little too much, but that's all right. Then going back to this layer, I got to add white back in the pot because you can see that shadow through it. I don't want that there. And I think for the background, I'm trying to think what color I should do here. Let me go to my reference layer. I'll select the background. No, that didn't work. I think I need to. Well, you know, it, it's fine. Let me. I'll select this. Then. I don't know what kind of color I want to use. Let's see here. Let's do it this way. This isn't, if I, if I just change the background color, what it's going to do, I'm going to do it this way. It's good. Anything that I left white, you'll see through it. So it's only the top part of that pot. So that's not a big deal. What I'm going to do then is just go back to that part of the pot and drop white in there. And that'll take care of that. Still, it keeps my shadows in there. That's fine. Then we're going to illuminate all the light bulbs. So for that, we'll go to the luminescence. Thing here and we're going to add a little flare what i think i'm going to do i don't want it to be huge but i don't want it to be too small so we're going to see what it looks like here and that was not what i wanted to do i drug my finger across it that'll work so that's a good size And I would assume the ball is going to have a little bling off of it. Do I do it on the eyes? Why not? And then the star on the top. Illumination everywhere. Look at that. So I think all I got to do is sign it. And this piece is done. Guardians of the Galaxy, Baby Groot, Charlie Brown, Christmas tree, if you will. I don't know what else to really call it. So we're going to go to the calligraphy brush. And this is the very last day in August. Today's August 31st. That means tomorrow is September 1st, the beginning of the Burr month, September, October, November, December. It's coming up quick. 
All right, so this is the last time I'm going to be drawing an eight for my artwork here. And there you have it. I'm going to bring it up full screen there so you can see it. So this is the Baby Groot Charlie Brown Christmas Tree Guardians of the Galaxy ride inspired piece of art. We'll start at the top and we'll work our way down so you can get a better view. I guess uh, yeah, my logo is there in the corner, but you get the point. We'll scroll through this way. And there you have it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you check out the Instagram feed, Agu Designs, A-G-U-E-D-E-S-I-G-N-S. I do a daily Christmas drawing. Didn't stop that at all last week. So if you didn't check that out, you have a whole week's worth of stuff you could look at. Um, again, the podcast, Closer to Christmas, you could check that out. You could follow that Instagram and Twitter page at Closer to Xmas, where I'm covering some Christmas topics over there. I got some new episodes that will be coming out soon, and I'm going to be doing a little bit more with that towards the end of the year here during the Burr months. So I'm excited for that. So thanks for watching. I'll be back here again next Wednesday, live, 6.30 Eastern time. So make sure you come back and check it out and tell other people to come and check it out. Tell them to check out the Instagram as well. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys next week. Have a good one.